Okay, now you've you've filled your sheet with uh, different shapes, oblique shapes. What we're going to do now is we're just going to use a fine liner just to make them stand out from the page. And we're going to use uh, two techniques. We're going to use outlining, which is very quick and quite rough, and we're also going to use thick and thin lines, which is a little bit more purposeful and takes a, a little bit longer. So the first thing I'm going to do is start on this block. So I'm just going to first of all just draw around my shape. I'm not going to cross over the lines this time. I'm going to be very I'm going to be very definite with my lines. And you can see what I try and do is keep my pen moving. I'm not scratching at the surface of the paper, being very purposeful in drawing the line, looking at where the line's going. Okay, with this shape, we're going to try just a technique called outlining, which you might have done before. It's very quick. What I'm doing is just very roughly going around the edge of the shape, and when I get to here, I'm just going to carry it around the outline because. The, the name of the technique is outlining. So we're just going to go around the outline of the shape. We're not going to go into these lines here or these lines here. That's going to make it look scruffy. So what we're going to actually do is just go around the outside of the shape. And really what it does is it kind of makes your um, your shape or your objects really stand out from the page. It kind of lifts it from the page. Um, when I do the outside, I do I do one very quickly. Okay, so when I go around the shape, you can see I always follow the direction of the shape. So if the line is going vertically, I move vertically. If the line is going horizontal, I move my pen horizontally. If, my pen, if the line is going diagonally, I move diagonally. And it's supposed to be very quick. And um, we'll do one more. We'll do the, the coin. This coin shape here. And again, same with circles. You move in the direction of the shape, or the line of the shape, and it is quite rough. There we go. Now we're going to have a go at uh, another technique, a uh, presentation technique, just doing enhance your sure sketches and make them stand out from the page. And that technique is called uh, thick and thin lines. Now we're going to have a go at uh, this shape here, which is the block. Um, we've got this piece cut away here, and like the outlining technique, all I'm going to do is draw around the object. It's fine. So we're just with a thin line. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a thick line where the line of the object is only attached to one surface. So this line here, obviously on the right hand side of the line there's a surface there that we would call a face. So there's a face of the block there. But this side on the left side there's nothing. Okay, you imagine that's just thin air. So that is a thick line. Um, we're going to Um, we're going to go around the bottom as well. We're going to imagine that this this object is is floating and it's not sit sat on a surface. So that the bottom line as well is only attached to one surface or face here. There's nothing this side, so that's a thick line. The same with this line, and pretty much the rule is all the lines all the way around the outside of the object will be thick. And by thick, all I'm doing, look, is just making that line that I've already drawn in a little bit thicker. I'm just thickening that line up. Now, all the lines on the inside of the shape, as in this line, this line, this line, this one, and this one, have two surfaces attached to them. So, for instance, this line here, we have a surface on the left, and we have a surface on the right, or a face so that stays thin. This line here, on the left there's a face 
and on the right there's a face so that stays thin as well same goes for these lines too pretty much any line inside the outside of the shape stays thin now let's have a go at an object where we've actually created a hole such as the prism here or this shape here this kind of sofa same again all the lines around the outside kind of I suppose the perimeter of the shape all the lines around the outside including the lines at the bottom are going to be thick okay so all the outside lines are thick now these lines let's have a look at them so this line here at the back one surface, two surfaces, stays thin. This line here in the corner, one surface, two surface, stays thin. So does this one, so does this one. This line here, one surface, two surface, stays thin. This line here, one surface and then no surfaces because there's a gap there. You imagine this is a 3D object. Um, this kind of the arm, I suppose, of the chair goes in behind there so this line is only attached to one surface so that becomes thick the same goes for this one here it's only attached to one surface you can't see behind there we can't see that other shape and what this does really is just enhance the drawings to the prism okay so thick lines here and here only attached to one surface definitely a thick line there because we can't see behind the shape thick line here where it rests and here and a thick line here and here now here this line this part of the line definitely thick so is this one because only one face it's only attached to one face on the left nothing on the right because that shape kind of goes in there's, there's a hole and there's a gap there that goes in and behind we can't see that so that becomes thick same for this line here that's thick as well this line we can see one we can see two faces so that stays thin it really enhances the drawing really lifts them from the page I'll have a go at the cylinder or the tube. Okay, tube like this because there's a hole through the cylinder. It's a little bit more difficult, but the basics are the same. So thick lines all the way around. Just tidy that up a bit. Don't make your line too thick. Just trying to, I suppose, to double, to double the thickness of the line that you already have. It definitely needs to look darker and heavier than the thin line. If there's not much difference between them, you won't, you won't have that same effect. Now this line here, we can see one surface and two surfaces, so that stays thin. Now this is a bit of an, an anomaly because this surface here we can see the surface of the inside of the tube we can also see this surface here but when we get to a certain point around that circle maybe here we can't actually see if you imagine you're looking into the tube we can't see the surface of the top of the hole so actually at a certain point the line becomes thick so imagine you are peering into the hole where where can you where do you lose sight of the surface inside so probably be about halfway around the circle here halfway around the circle I suppose if you draw a 45 degree line through that diagonal this way it would start there and end there and the end of the line just kind of goes smoothly it's thicker smoothly just 
smooth that out there like that. We just do one more, just to show you. We're going to have a go at the a shape where just choose one of the shapes where you have a block sticking out, protruding out of another shape. Okay, when you go over these shapes, remember that they are solid blocks now, so you're not going to draw these lines here. So don't remember not to draw those in. Okay, so thick lines. Again, same rule really, all the way around the outside of the object. Remember, not too thick, not too thin. You need to be able to tell the difference between a thick line and a thin line. Now we've got this hole, so let's have a look at the lines. So this line here, there's a surface there and a surface there, so definitely thin. This line, one surface, and then, then there's the hole, the gap, so that's thick. Definitely a thick line. The same with this line here. We can't, we, we've got a surface here, just on the edge, but we can't see inside the hole. We can't see the other surface it's attached to. So that's thick. This line here, one, two surfaces, fine, thin. This line, two surfaces, thin. Now, this line here, this line here is actually attached to two shapes rather than two faces. There's this face and this face, so that would stay thin. This line, however, we can see one face attached to it and then this block sticks out of this one so there's actually nothing there the other side we can't see can't see this side of the block so that's thick uh, this line thin two surfaces this line thin two surfaces and this one's thin as well two surfaces and so are these as well so using thicker thin lines and using outlining uh, have a go at using both of those techniques on the rest of your shapes.